Okay, it's beer o'clock again on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Anchorage Brewing Company in America. And it's a bottle of the Galaxy White IPA, bottled with Brett, Brettomyces. And it's been aged in French oak wine casks. This sounds great. There's the cage. Let's get this open into a glass and see what we get. With it being... Ooh, yeah. We got a blower. Right. Oh! Wow! Okay. As soon as I got that cage off, this beer was ready to pop. For me, that's got to be the breath doing that. I think it's a 2012 bottle of this, so the hops, again, uh, it's, it's, it's a white IPA. It'll be, I picked it up because it'd be interesting to see what kind of, wow, holding on to that, and it was still slipping. Dug right into my hand there, wow. Um, firm grip for that, well you can see, look at that, as soon as the cage come off, it was ready to explode. Um, yeah, as I was saying, it's probably brewed with big strong American hops. Um, I knew it was a 2012 bottle, I just picked it up, it's 2013 now. But it's interesting to see what the Brett's done over the year. What what the kind of French oak wine has done over the year. Um, and again, what the hops have done over the year. They've probably faded a little. But I still imagine that they'll give some input into this beer. So we got a year age bottle of this. Galaxy White IPA. As you can see, massive forefinger head. Beer in the glass is nice and... It's very kind of lemonade-y, like an old good old fashioned cloudy lemonade and um, loads of carbonation. Um, pale colour, let's give it a nose if we can get something past this head. Fabulous, fabulous. Now I've had something very very similar and it was the reason why I picked this up. Um, Bristol Beer Factory brewed a beer with Dark Star and it was aged in, in white wine casks French, I think it was, yeah, French oak casks, white wine but it was phenomenal, it was a phenomenal beer and straight away this reminds me of that same thing that lovely fruity white wine but also the breath, the breath of Isis that funkiness it's definitely horse blanket. I'm going to dive in. It's got fresh fruits in as well. I'll find out what they are now in a moment. Oh. Wow. Um, if I haven't said it before, this is 7% ABV. But, wow. Super funk with the breath, definite horse blanket. It's a dry sourness, but that white, it's definitely a white wine. That white grape is, is there in abundance with the oak as well. Mmm, fantastic beer. It's, it's another one of those summer beers that you wanna kind of enjoy. You wanna, it's hot outside, you want something to refresh you. 7% you'd think that might be a bit thick and a bit gloopy but look at that in the glass it's very refreshing oh that's good that is good um, spicy fruity coriander Coriander and spices, white wine, oak, Brettomyces. Mm. 
bitterness, bitterness. What's happened here, if it was a, a load of big American hops gone in, they've subtly kind of faded a little bit, but the bitterness is still there, that lovely bitterness, and that adds to it. I'd like, I, I, if they still, if they, if this is a yearly release, I'd like to try the 2013 release if it was a fresh bottle. bottle. But in my mind, I can kind of work out what it would have been. It would have just been all of the flavours I mentioned: the Brettanomyces, the oak from the wine, the white wine, uh, the, the the coriander, the spices. And it would have been kind of grapefruit, mango, pine needles, that sort of thing. But the grapefruit, the pine needles, uh, and the lemon has moved away a little bit, and it's just left a nice, longing bitterness. And it's a it's a good beer. I'm gonna get some more, and then we'll have a look to see the fresh fruit that's gone in. There it is. Lovely carbonation. Yeah, so I'm I'm glad I picked it up to be honest. Um wow. Fermented in Alaska, batch two, April 2012. So it's it's one year and three months old. So it's fifth it's a fifteen month old bottle. Um but it tastes fantastic aged. Okay, um, one of the new trails being blazed on the frontier of beer is a style known as White India Pale Ale's Galaxy White IPA represents a significant new landmark on that trail. With its use of fresh kumquats, Indian coriander and black, black peppercorns. Okay, it was that, it was definitely that spiciness I picked up. Definitely the, um, the coriander that was definitely in an abundance. I didn't get the kumquats. They're them little kind of funky fruits that people seem to be eating at the moment. Um, I, I tried something. I tried a kumquat just a couple of weeks ago at a friend's house. Um, it's a bit like a kiwi fruit. So I, I did miss that flavour in the beer. Let's see if we can get it now. Mm. Yeah, it, it's fruity, it's vitamin C, it's a bit like kiwi fruit, but it, it would be a real... Once you know what they've said on the bottle that's gone in, you can go, ah, yeah, I, I can understand that being in there. But over that white wine and the oak, it would be very, very difficult to kind of pull out. It's one of them kind of little hidden gems that you, when you read it on the bottle, you go, ah, right, yes. Um... Galaxy pays homage to the early explorers who sailed unknown seas in search of rare spices and exotic fruits. Captain Cook travelled from Australia to Alaska and saw of the galaxy hops used to create this adventurous brew. Okay, so there we are. I'm not going to read any more. Um, galaxy hops that have gone in. They have been a 15 month old age bottle. Would I'd have to put it side by side with them, a fresh bottle and an aged bottle, but this beer, as I've mentioned numerous times already, is fantastic at 15 months old. Wonderful flavours. Um, it's just kind of that that yeast in there, that kind of Brettanomyces has really kind of done the job. It's, it's carried on ageing. It's still got a lot of fermentation, as you see by the opening. Um, we lost a little bit of the galaxy, but I mean, there's so many other flavours that um, that it'd be hard to miss it, to be honest. So for me, my first beer from Anchorage, I'd like to give their website. I imagine it's Anchor, anchoragebrewingcompany.com or just Google them. Don't seem to be here on the bottle. Um, 
yeah, Google Anchorage Brewing Company. See if you can get a bottle of this Galaxy White IPA. Um, it's lovely. See if you can get an aged bottle, see if you can get a new bottle. I'd be interested to hear if you've had both, so put your comments in the comments box. Um, but rating, I'm certainly going to give this a big 9 out of 10. This is lovely. 9 out of 10 from the Real Ale Guide. I'm going to take this away and enjoy this now, but thank you for watching me. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to my daily beer reviews. Cheers.